Hey guys, you are watching Tech Brothers YouTube channel, and today we have unboxing and first review of Yulefon Note 7. The main feature of this phone is price, only $45. Yes, this is ultra-budget smartphone, but it has triple camera on the back. Of course, it is fake, but I'm interested in photo quality and performance of this mobile device. Should you buy a smartphone for $45? Let's find out! Subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers, and hit the bell not to miss new videos about Ulefon Note 7 and other interesting gadgets. Ulefon Note 7 comes in this box. It's a pity, but the box was damaged during the delivery. Anyway, the phone inside is OK. On the front side of the box, we can see the image of triple camera and water drop notch. Also, there is model name in the top left corner. The specifications of mobile device are on the back. If you hear about Ulefon Note 7 for the first time, then it has water drop screen, MediaTek MT6580 chipset, 1 gig of RAM and 16 gigs of internal memory, face unlock, triple camera, 6.1 inch display, 3500 mAh battery and Android 8.1 Oreo Go Edition. Opening the box, you will find the phone. Protective case, but it is sold additionally. Protective film, user manual, micro USB cable, and power adapter. Now it's time to talk about design of Ulefon Note 7. To be honest, I'm impressed by design and build quality of Ulefon Note 7. This is $45 phone, but it has modern design with water drop notch above the display. Yes, the bezels around the screen are much bigger than mid-range or flagship devices, but they are good for ultra-budget phone. There is front camera and earpiece under the notch. If we talk about rear panel, it is made of glossy plastic. I have a black color option, but you can also choose from blue and gold. By the way, Yulefon Note 7 has a very nice protective case. It looks like leather and pleasant to touch. The back panel of this budget phone looks like Huawei Mate 20. There is triple camera and flashlight in the center. Also, you can see speaker on the bottom. Yulefon Note 7 doesn't have fingerprint reader. The power button and volume rocker are located on the right side. The left side is empty. Just like many other ultra-budget phones, Yulefon Note 7 has a removable back cover. Here you can find the slot for dual SIM and microSD memory card. It seems that the battery is not removable. The phone has 3.5mm audio jack on the top and micro USB port on the bottom. Ulevan Note 7 looks very nice for $45. It has modern design, good build quality, 3.5mm audio jack, dual SIM tray, and a dedicated slot for micro SD. The display of this phone has 6.1 inch diagonal and HD Plus resolution, 1280 by 600 pixels. Yes, the image is not as sharp as on Full HD display, but in general, I like the display. It has very good brightness, so you can use the phone outdoors and even in direct sunlight. Also, the viewing angles are great. You can look at display from any angle. So far, Yulefon Note 7 looks very good for $45, but what about performance? The smartphone is powered by MediaTek MT6580. This is quad-core processor with maximum clock speed of 1.3 GHz and 88 nanometers process technology. The chipset was released in 2016, about three years ago. Yulefon Note 7 has only 1 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal memory. However, you can use microSD memory cards. As usual, in coming days we will make a special video with performance test of this phone. Now I want to show you an tutor result – 19,500 points. We should talk about software and user interface of Yulefon Note 7, because this is not a regular Android. The phone runs on Android 8.0 Oreo Go Edition, which means that Android OS was optimized for entry-level hardware. The phone has optimized Google apps such as Gmail Go, Maps Go, Assistant Go, etc. As you understand, this is done to make the phone launch Google Apps faster. In general, this is not stock Android, because the icons and wallpapers are changed. However, it is not very customized, which is very good. Actually, I didn't notice big problems with user interface. Everything works quite smoothly. Yes, the apps open a little longer than on more expensive devices, but this is excusable for $45 smartphone. I think you are interested in camera of Ulefon Note 7, because there are three sensors on the back. 
The manufacturer says about 8 megapixels main sensor, 2 megapixel secondary sensor, and 2 megapixel third sensor. However, if you look at AIDA64, we will see only one 8 megapixel sensor. The front camera has 5 megapixel sensor. It is interesting that camera app has AI mode. To be honest, I don't believe that it really works, but I will test it in coming days. We will publish camera test of Ulefa Note 7 in few days. The link to this video will be in the description. Ulefa Note 7 has 3500mAh battery. I think that the battery life will be good on this phone because of HD Plus display and entry-level hardware, but the charging time will be pretty long. The phone supports only 5W charging. Once again, we will make better test very soon. I will leave the link to this video in the description. The phone has a speaker on the back panel and 3.5mm audio jack on the top. The sound quality from built-in speaker is quite weak, but it is very loud. Yulfa Note 7 supports dual SIM standby, nano SIM and micro SIM. They work in 3G network simultaneously. Unfortunately, the phone doesn't support 4G network. I have tested Wi Fi and GPS. I have no complaints about this. Everything works fine. So, it was unboxing and first review of Yulfa Note 7. To be honest, I am very impressed by this $45 phone. I still have to do performance test, camera test and battery test, but so far it looks like very good mobile device. Yulfa Note 7 has modern design with water drop notch and triple camera on the back like Huawei Mate 20. The phone has dual SIM and dedicated slot for microSD memory card. The display has good brightness and viewing angles. Also I like Android Go Edition. Google apps are optimized especially for entry-level hardware, so they run very well. The final conclusion about this phone will be after detailed tests. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers. See you next time.